That's what she said. Moving process starts today. Yes, we are moving again to a bigger shop. Much bigger, actually, in a cooler, like better area. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna be able to get a lot more things done now because of that. Today, we're driving Uncle Rob over there, who is half blown up. He's got a cracked piston. The tune was far more aggressive than I wanted. And I wanted it to be turned down before race week to be safe so something like this wouldn't happen. And I was told that that was done, but it actually wasn't. And now we got a cracked piston. It's just puffing, puffing steam out the valve covers, but we can still drive them over to the new place. That's why you haven't seen anything on Uncle Rob. So you kind of got, um, got a problem. Two things. One, Logan stole my pit vipers, so I have to wear these pink zebra ones because there's no tint in this fish bowl of Uncle Rob. We'll get there eventually. Also, we're just stopping at the post office to drop off a couple orders that came in this morning. We ship everything like literally as quick as we can. We will run one bag to the post office. It means getting it out a day before waiting a day. Like we're not like, other, we don't let stuff pull up and then take it because we're lazy. We want you to get your stuff if you order it. We'll get a new engine stuffed in here after the Escalade gets put back together. The engine actually just got delivered over, uh, over there. So sneak peek, it's coming soon. Yeah, now it's, it's barking at me to check the oil level. I put like two quarts in after we went to the track the last time in July in Ohio and the light went away and now it's barking at me again because it's got a crack piston and it, it's burning oil. It just stinks. This thing's really fun to drive. It drives great. Like I forgot how great this was to drive. Oh well, there we go. Uncle Rob delivered to the new home which uh, you'll get to see the inside of a little bit later in this video whenever we go over there tomorrow to clean the floor and stuff. So gonna be fun all this is Tom Tom's gonna help us start to to move here some of you may remember several months ago when we were building Uncle Rob we did one where we just wrote a bunch of dumb stuff on the cards and one of them says you probably have butthole fingers well we are like okay the first seven orders are gonna get a card Tom was butthole fingers that was me. and that's very funny because <laughs> we weren't even planning on moving here whenever that happened and they were like oh it's the the butthole fingers guy lives in mooresville how the crazy is that and now you're here saving the day helping us move again right up the road. well we're getting somewhere yeah. man we were just starting to get this place set up too it sucks but it's nice because now we're free of our lease and able to go to a bigger place. But man, I just wish they would have known that we would only be able to be in here for two months. Then we wouldn't have like put as much effort into setting the place up. We would have just, you know, done the bare minimum. But uh I mean how long have we been doing this? Only a couple hours? Uh yeah, about four hours maybe. It's not too bad. The lift is Pretty much torn apart. We just got one bolt sitting in the ground just so it doesn't happen to fall on the car, which it wouldn't. They, those things don't just fall down for no reason. You know, merch loaded up. We got most of this stuff in Tom's trailer here. Before I knew where we were gonna go, because we didn't have a place lined up when they told us that. They just showed us the the other place. It was either we could terminate the lease or go to a different place that they provide us. Well, the place they provided us was just, like not good and it cost more. So we decided to take the option to X the lease, not even knowing where we were gonna go. I was literally going to buy an enclosed trailer to use as a temporary storage unit until we found somewhere to go. But by a great stroke of luck, we did. And we found a better place in a better area. And it's much, much bigger. You know everything happens for a reason, but man, sometimes you wish the world would just give you a little less work that you've done before, but changing transmissions every month during the summer in the Escalade during that year 2019, which I just talked about at the end of the Mark Martin video. Sometimes doing the same thing 
a little bit different eventually gets you to a spot where you don't have to change anything anymore and that's what we're working towards so Whew. tomorrow we clean the floor in the new place and maybe we'll start moving stuff in depending how clean we get the floor i don't know how dirty it is about to head over with our first uh first load and we're gonna stop at the store and get some floor cleaning stuff oh yeah i'll have to unlock that this is logan's first time driving uncle george did you figure it out yeah it's just so old are you excited oh i need my hat you haven't driven it before have you no. all right well yeah, it's a little old and floppy, but it does everything it's supposed to do. Can I even scoot forward? Yeah. It has controls down here, like... All right, I expect a full report on your test drive after we get to there. <laughs> well, this is it. You gotta get everything cleaned up now. They're putting LED lights in here and stuff. Right now, I don't know if those ones even work. Not working too well. What we got is a skylight, but all this stuff in here is going to come out. But while we're in the process of that, we're going to kind of start cleaning the floors, get a leg up on things. Are you ready? I am ready to get this first trailer emptied out. Yeah, me too. So I think we're going to unload the trailer, the stuff in the trailer in here after we can clean in here. But before we're cleaning in here, well, this is the moving stuff. We're cleaning it over here getting it going how's it working Tom there's some old uh, I think he said Jeremy Mayfield bumpers up there it's pretty cool getting the floor cleaned off over here we haven't done anything in here yet but we're getting there I guess somebody used this as a motorcycle paint booth at one point a long time ago um, so we're letting the vent run get all the dust out of here there's a bathroom back there i'm gonna put a door on there get that ironed out but yeah it's great it's like a nice good room for cutting and grinding stuff so you don't get the rest of it all messed up and then we can close those doors and have that be like the office and functional car storage all the merch shelves over there and you know we could park a couple functional cars up there too it's like you know park a car in your living room kind of thing and then this will be the, the workshop where the down and dirty happens. Also, I'm not propping up the camera while I'm doing stuff, so... People are probably going to think you're doing everything just because they're only going to see what I record. Well, I mean, you're holding the camera. It's kind of hard to do stuff and hold the camera. Yeah, but when I'm not recording, what am I doing? We're in here working. We made it in two months. Yeah. See? See, he said. <laughs> Gotta get back to work. All these guys have camera guys. What is that? That's all these fancy YouTubers have camera guys. Yeah, no, I gotta, I gotta do both. We don't have. No, ain't got no film crews around here. We never got the uh, Uncle George first drive check-in from Logan. What are your thoughts? It handles great. It drives like. What does that mean? That means if I had to drive that every single day, my right calf would be like the size of my thigh. Okay. So you have to floor it everywhere to go anywhere. <laughs> yep. So now pretend it has 800 horsepower. How, how, do, how do you think it'll be once it has a bunch of power? We're gonna need some new brakes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. So it drives really good. Yes. Does it drive smoother than Elvis? Honestly, I think it does. Yeah, I just hate putting my foot to the floor to go 45 miles an hour. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a rough life, but that thing is cherry. You know, they both have 300 something thousand miles. That's 335, 315, 205, I think, something like that. You gonna run to the store and grab some stuff? Yep. All right, moved on to cleaning the front part which I think our plan is going to be um, we're going to get this cleaned out and then we're going to put all the stuff in the trailer in here while we continue working on this part tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day find out about getting this painted 
they're putting better lights in here like these leds are going to be in here too so that's going to help but this all needs to be painted we're really getting somewhere here so this place is going to be pretty awesome i'm excited and you guys are here for it You're doing a great job. Jerky Jack taught me how. Actually, Captain Cock did. <laughs> Captain Cock taught you how to mop good. Yep, just standing up there watching. I hope he's watching this. I hope he is too. Captain Cock, if you're out there, we had some good times. Everything out of the trailer. Um, we didn't have to undo this shelf. We just carried everything in the way it was in a thing, which is great, but. Then I realized that um, he's got little dogs over there, and until this this wall gets put up here in like a week and a half or whatever, they could still get over here. So I thought, oh, we need to put this up high so they don't like try to eat the food or tear up the toilet paper or something. And you know, I was like Ray overthinking it, trying to think what we could put it on. Turn it around. That's how you know you had a long day. <laughs> it's a very good idea. We can just stick it against the wall, and that's that. Yeah. So this is, you know, we did a lot today. We have less to do tomorrow. I guess the rest of those shelves, the lift, the engine, transmission, that kind of stuff, office chairs, tires. Yeah, big, big stuff and random stuff. Yeah, a couple, you know, Escalade and the Monte Carlo, too. We're we're making steam here. I didn't think we'd get this much done today. Or, I mean, I kind of wanted to, but when I got here, I didn't think we'd get that much done. I didn't thought. expect to get the trailer empty tonight either. I yeah. kind of thought we were just going to back it in and unhook it. Yeah. So, oh. sometimes, uh, just go for that one more. Now we end the day feeling that much better. Oh, yeah. And I'm ready to tear it up tomorrow. This place is going to be awesome. We've got everything else unloaded except the lift and the Escalade the Monte Carlo in here. That's still, um, still gotta go somewhere. But the electricians are here with their scissor lift. We'll get some new lights in here. And I gotta call around, see about getting some paint. Everything is out of here except the Monte Carlo and the 632, which we'll update on that. Um, we got the transmission delivered the other day. Turns out they accidentally built me a two-wheel drive one, so we had to send it back. Uh, when that comes back, we're just waiting on the converter and the flex plate. Uh, converter's coming from Pro Torque to flex plate, Bonifant friction. Um, then we'll have everything we need to do, Uncle George build, but that's the current state of that. That's why the engine is still in a box. Monte Carlo still got that transmission wiring gremlin. Got to figure that out. But at least I can drive it into the trailer. So that's what we're doing there. And tomorrow we will get the lift poles and put it on the open trailer. Take that over. Come back. Winch the Escalade up. Take that over. And that'll be it. The, uh, the engine just came back from LME. We shipped it to the other place already. So it's there. As soon as we get set up and get the new shop oriented and painted and configured and all that Escalade's going back together that's happening uh i'm really excited it's like gonna be like literally a year since the last time i made noise i'm pumped so pumped this new shop is so much better than this look how tiny this is you can't do anything in here and the newels parked up against the woods it looks like crap because there's stuff falling on it there's dirt it gets dirt in there I guess it's all dirt. <sighs> yeah. How much better is a new place than this one? Oh, uh, way better. Yeah. Way bigger. Work on multiple things at once. It's going to be great. Yeah. We're doing it. At least we can drive that thing on there. I got that wire kind of like test plugged in right now. So if it gets too hot, it'll melt on the exhaust. Yeah. But and we can fire it up long enough just to roll it into the trailer. Yeah. yeah. Never fails. We thought, oh, we could just drive this car out of the trailer. Just just drive it on. It won't start. And we already packed the charger. It's already at the other building. All we have is the jump box, and it was enough to crank it, but it won't start. 
it got close. Once it dropped down below like 20 pounds, it wasn't. I was watching the fuel pressure gauges. You're cranking it, and it was just falling. It just doesn't have enough nut to do all of it and keep the spark going. So, um, Elvis has side post batteries, which one of which is brand new. I just bought it. So, uh, I think we'll just put it in there just to start it because we don't want to have to get a run and start and push this into the trailer. One, because my wrist is jacked up already. I'll ruin it even more if I push it. And two, Logan doesn't want to be responsible for running it into something. Yeah. And three, I'm sick of pushing this piece of Everything you own is heavy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm not pushing it. We're taking the battery out of Elvis and we're starting it and we'll put it back in. I don't care. I'm not pushing this car again. Not doing it. And then we stole Elvis's battery, the auxiliary battery, the one that goes over there. Turns out it's the exact same battery. So that's convenient. I think it'll work now. If it doesn't, I'll hate myself because we have, we're getting this thing on the trailer one way or the other because your truck is over there. We have to go back there anyway. So we're taking a car with us. That's just, that's just how it's gonna be. doesn't have the O2 sensors plugged in. Maybe that's why. Maybe. Upstream or downstream? What? Upstream or downstream? I guess it does have cats on it, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, this is stupid. Well, I plugged the one O2 sensor back in that I can reach, and we put the jump pack on the good battery. Just hopefully, um, get it some more. If it runs too long, it'll melt the wires on the exhaust, which is fine at this point, honestly. Uh, I already hate myself, so, but it, it won't run long enough to melt that. If it'll run at all, let's find out. Okay, what's it gonna be? she said I'm pretty sure that the O2 sensor is why it didn't start because it lit right it lit right off yeah now I wonder if I can get out of here I might have to climb out the window yeah I think you're, you're gonna have to duke it today we are preparing this wall for paint by doing all the seams in the drywall and all the screw holes and stuff which I've never done before but I didn't even didn't even think about doing this. I was gonna be like, screw it, let's just spray it white. I don't care. And Logan wouldn't let me not do that. Because she's done this before I haven't. It's the right thing to do. It is. And now I know how to do it and it's kinda of fun. And we get to use this thing. What did you do? <laughs> don't make it worse. I don't have any more of these shirts. This is my Elvis shirt. You can wear a large. Yeah, I could. I guess we still have some of those. On stapletonautoworks.com. <laughs> yeah. Wow, would you just look at that? Would you just look at it? <laughs> <sighs> On me. 
Where was it? On me. You were standing right by me when that happened? Mm-hmm. Damn shame. <laughs> At least you didn't press it into me this time. Yeah, that's never ever happened before. Definitely has. I apologize for nothing. <laughs> Look what we did. It's basically ready to be painted now. And we didn't want to go all the way to the ceiling because that this thing is like pretty sketchy. Well, it's like way up there. And the door is going to be up most of the time. So, you know, those lines up there aren't really a big deal. Once it's painted, you won't be able to, won't be able to tell anyway. And we're going to be, we're going to hang stuff up there and, or paint a mural or something. I don't know. Did some vacuuming up there too. Um, probably next plan of attack is see what the heck is up there. Do some vacuuming up there too. More paint prep. We're getting somewhere here. I would like to show you if you saw the shirts we were wearing in the video. This is a new release right here. They're all on stablesandautoworks.com. We got this is the back of the one I'm wearing right now. This like Western Auto Darrell Wall Trip tribute one. If uh, you're not expecting a surprise visit from DW, you can find the IC Titty shirt on stablesandautoworks.com. And this one here <laughs> is one of my favorites. Logan was wearing this in hoodie form. That's the Robert Yates Racing tribute. That's and like one of my new favorites for sure. Yeah, we, we love this one. This one is available in hoodie form too. And we also got the North Carolina intercooler flag shirt. This style with the intercooler turns into a flag. We've done this many iterations of this with the American flag, but we did this limited run North Carolina flag one for all you North Carolina people, which we now are since we just moved here. But that's Local the new stuff. Yeah, that's the new release. And we got the OG staples here. We got Uncle Rob, the Turbo Yukon. I'm sure a lot of you guys have never even seen that thing run before because you're new to the channel. And we got the Dale Earnhardt Pit Crew shirt. Um, we are only up to the bigger sizes left in stock for those, so we don't keep things on the website very long. We'll do one or two runs of it, and then it's gone. So if you see something you like, you better hop on it. Um, we got these hats too. We're out of LXL. Yeah, small but we still medium. got small medium of these, and we got we have LXL of other hats, so you can see them on there. And then Elvis. Yeah. Can't Show really them. reach it. Show I have to climb on this plastic table to get to it. Anything is a race car if you race it, which we raced around Caraway, technically. Yeah. Elvis was Not on the really track. racing, but you know. I mean, we were pushing it hard enough to freak you out. Well, yeah. We didn't film that part, though. You didn't like it. <laughs> yeah. And if your order includes a hat, we have to ship it in a box, which means you get a free Rowdy Energy sample. Among the fall office decorations here, <laughs> we have the random pile. So if there's a, a shirt that is only down to a couple sizes left, we discount them and make it random. So you pick your size of the sizes we have in stock here and you get one of these designs that is discontinued that we still have a few left of. And we got shop dog shirts here. There's not one hanging because someone bought the last small. That's my puppy. Yep. Stapledinautoworks.com. Check it out. Yeah, so there's a link in the description and I pin it in the comment. So go check that out. Logan packs everything. So if you leave a tip, that goes straight to her and she buys stuff like decorations with it. So, oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's what you do. Well, you do a lot more than that, but yeah. yeah. We're not, you know, we pack and ship everything ourselves. Everything gets a handwritten note. We, we actually care about people and we yes. ship quickly. This is it. This is Small Business 101 here. Yeah. We need to fire up the member section of this channel so we can post things that really have nothing to do with, like... Like all the stupid stuff that we do. Yeah, like, like I know that film. pretty much if you're still watching this now, <laughs> you're one of the people that would enjoy that stuff because most surface level viewers are gone well before this point. So if you're here, we appreciate you. We want to hear from you in the comments because we read almost all of them. I replied with as many as I can. I want to reply to you. You freaking test me. You don't think I'm going to answer you? See if I do.